My name's Ken Whiting, I'm the host of Paddle Tales, and this week we're going to look at whether or not whitewater kayaking is safe. Now, I'm sure some people hearing that question are probably shaking their head and thinking, of course not. You're squeezing yourself into a little kayak with your legs trapped inside and going through these big rapids and it's, uh, there's absolutely nothing safe about it. And I can appreciate that perspective. <laughs> but is it the right perspective? Is it, is it the truth of the matter? Is it that simple? Before we get into it, please subscribe to Paddle TV if you haven't already and check out Paddle Tales. It's a web series where we go to incredible places and share amazing paddling adventures, including some whitewater kayaking ones. Uh, the link is in the description box down below. But the question, is whitewater kayaking safe? There isn't a simple answer to that one. Whitewater kayaking really is no different than any other outdoor adventure sport um, in that it can be safe. It can also be dangerous. It depends on so many factors. You know, I think uh, the biggest reason whitewater kayaking isn't safe for some people is because they didn't have appropriate instruction. It's no different than driving a vehicle down the, down the highway or in the city or anywhere. Is, hey, if you didn't learn to drive first, then driving would be an extremely dangerous activity. With proper instruction and practice, you know, it's reasonably safe. And <laughs> probably not as safe as whitewater kayaking. <laughs> Um, so taking a course, what I did was I took a five day course when I was 14 years old and that laid the foundation for me. I learned what I needed to know about uh, hydrodynamics, what's happening in, in a, with white water. Before then it looked just like a chaotic white mess. I didn't understand it. How could I make a judgment call on whether it was safe or not? Um, I be really at least learned the fundamentals of uh, of white water in that five day course. And I learned st my strokes. I learned safety techniques, rescues. I learned the kayak roll. A five day course is a great start. I think it's the ideal start. You can take a two day course and learn a lot, but I think a five, if you can do a five day course, perfect. Now the foundation is laid for a safe growth as a white water kayaker. I think what makes a lot of people think of whitewater kayaking as being an extremely risky sport is the fact that if things did go wrong, there is the possibility of the ultimate bad ending of drowning. Um, whereas you look at sports like mountain biking and you don't have that same idea that the, the you know, when things go wrong, uh, that ending could be as severe. Is that accurate? I don't think so. You know, I, I've been more hurt and uh, uh, mountain biking than I have ever in kayaking. In 30 years of whitewater kayaking, I've been more hurt in my 10 years of mountain biking. Uh, and there is definitely the real potential in mountain biking of having that, that fatal crash. But it's the, it's the unknown factor of white water and drowning, of being at the mercy of a river where things don't just stop. When you crash on a mountain bike, you crash, there's the impact, and typically that's it. And whatever happened at that point of impact, it's the end of, the, it's the end of that story. And it can be a nasty story, but it's the end of that story. Whereas in white water, it's a, it's a, a moving medium. And when something goes wrong, you're in that moving medium and the story's not over until it's over. So is whitewater kayaking safe? You know, it really depends on many factors. It depends on what kind of a foundation you established and how you've uh, progressed through the different levels of whitewater kayaking, your own personal levels. Have you done it slowly and responsibly or have you really been pushing your limits the whole time? What kind of whitewater are you paddling in? Are you paddling in freezing cold glacial, glacial fed rivers? Or are you paddling in warm inviting whitewater uh, rapids? Are you paddling in uh, continuous rapids? Rapids that are just a steady gradient and it just keeps going. Where uh, you have to actively swim to shore 
to end your ride if you, if you end up swimming? Or are you in a pool drop river that has a rapid into a nice big calm pool where you can just take your time, collect the pieces, and then get going again? There's so many factors that dictate whether, how safe whitewater kayaking is. What I guess, so I guess my answer would be, whitewater kayaking can be a very safe activity. Yes, there's inherent risks with whitewater kayaking. Yes, uh, you, can get in, you can get hurt. You could die. But choosing the right environment with the right instruction and pacing yourself, your growth, um, you can do it in a very safe, very safe way. Safer than actually most activities in this world. If you choose to paddle with the right people, that's another big one too. You know, it depend, doesn't matter if it's, it's paddling or biking or climbing or any activity. The people you choose to paddle or to be active with also play a big, big role in dictating how safe the experience is. And how do, you, uh, how do you treat the experience? Do you treat it nonchalantly? Do you, do you choose to paddle and drink? Do you to choose to paddle and do drugs? Well, obviously you're going to be upping the, the risk factor by doing those kinds of things. Generally speaking, <laughs> more than generally speaking, it's just a bad idea to do that kind of thing. It doesn't matter if it's paddling or any, any activity, period. But I think what this leads into is, hey, there's always going to be risk. But what is the cost of not doing something that might be a little bit risky? For me, the cost of not doing something like whitewater kayaking, when I look back on my life, the cost of not whitewater kayaking would have been huge. Whitewater kayaking has shaped the person I am today. It's had a Im profound impact on the friends, the incredible friends that I have around the world. My family, my family all came from um, my, my integration into the whitewater world. My wife was a whitewater paddler. The places I've gotten to see um, around the world and the ways I've gotten to see it. When I go to, have gone to a country, I haven't gone looking at the museum. I've seen some of the most incredible canyons and valleys and wilderness settings, places that there's no other way to get to but a whitewater kayak. Yes, sometimes I've been pushing my limits when doing it, but other times it's been purely a, uh, um, just a, uh, almost a spiritual exp uh, experience. You know, so for me, it's the risk is far outweighed by the rewards. So yes, whitewater kayaking is risky. There is risk involved. You can mitigate that risk and the cost of not doing something like whitewater kayaking for me is way too high. So that's my perspective on whether kayaking is, whitewater kayaking is safe or not. Um, I'm sure it's different than a lot of people's perspective. I'd love to hear the comments. Please leave the comments down below. Subscribe to Paddle TV if you haven't already. We got lots more tips and uh, talking points coming your way, as well as the Paddle Tales TV, uh, web series, which we're going on some cool paddling adventures coming up. So make sure to check the link in the description box for the latest Paddle Tales videos. And we'll see you soon back here on Paddle TV.